Right. The Barons of the March. The Barons are brash rural marcher lords who wear boyar hats and military uniforms. They're renowned for their belligerence and fondness for hunting. Chiefs of the North. The chiefs are honourable warrior lords who wear warrior lords, okay, not warlords, warrior lords, who wear thick furs and blue tattoos and often carry weaponry. They're renowned for their honour and prowess in combat. Yes, this marches tall. <laughs> the Counts of the East. The Counts are ruthless aristocrats who wear cloaks and dark clothing. They're renowned for their secrecy and sinister traditions. The Grandees of the South. The Grandees are impassioned zealots who live by strict codes of honour and etiquette and often react explosively to those who challenge the social norms. And the Patricians of the Coast. The Patricians are wealthy merchant lords who wear masks and lots of jewellery. Oh, is this... Is this Empire? I mean, it's a bit lightning half of it to, um, yeah, we've got the Marchers. Yeah! We've got Wintermark, sorry, the Chiefs of the North. Uh, <laughs> we've got, got, um, we've got, um, Gorushka. Gorushka. Yeah, then you've got the Brass Coast, and then you've got the League. Yeah, you have actually, yeah. Yeah, there you go, it's Empire. It's, it's, it's Empire. Awesome. Empire the video game. I'm in. Uh, right, well, we have to have the marchers, because that's you. I'm League. And so who do we want as our... Yeah, 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 that's... Or, no, a great point of Yellow could be high guard. Yellow could be high guard. All right, Tomo. Um, so we've got the Barons of the March, and we've got the Patricians of the Coast. Who do you want for the third? I'll let you pick. Barushka. Barushka. <laughs> That's the purple one. The Counts of the East, yes. The Counts of the East. Barushka it is. Connecting to game server. Uh, okay, so... You, toolbox, can you put this into chat? It's the, that web link. So you will be able, it will show your name in whichever faction you choose to be in. Um, you will also be able to put your pronouns. Um, she, her, he, him, they, them. They are the only pronouns currently available in game. If you have different pronouns to that, apologies. I don't know if that's something they're planning on changing later on down the line, or if they've just used that to cover a multitude of bases. Um, did you put the thing in there that you did? Oh, yeah. Thing. And then the room code is at the top of the page there. P G C Z. In the toolbox is straight in in the Oh you've joined the count. I thought you were gonna be a match. Oh. You didn't get to choose. You didn't get to choose. Okay, so I believe in the full game you'll get to choose. Oh. That's a bit controversial now we've likened it to Empire. <laughs> Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, um, Empire is a live action role play in the UK. Um, you, if you've been on TikTok recently, um, there's there's quite a few of the big TikTokers that. Hey, Viridian! Welcome, welcome! And welcome to the marches. Um, <laughs> there's quite a few big TikTokers that have come along to events and stuff and made content from there um but it's been running for many 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 moons and it's probably one of the most involved storylines of a lot i've ever really known about um it was my first lap so you know dear place in my heart Alrighty. All right, I'm going to give it another minute in case anyone else wants to join. And then I look so regal. In fact, I might, do you know what? I'm going to go get my crown. I'll be right back. Um, use the link, join the thing. Maybe literally two seconds. I just need to get my crown for this. Just... 
need it. <laughs> And I'm back. Um, right. So, firstly, this is she. This was the crown from my wedding to Toolbox. Um, diverse sparkly. And it just sits very nicely. Like this. I am the queen. So, there we go. Regal, thank you. I can't play a queen and not have it. A little bit of, just a bit off centre today, but we'll rock it. We'll rock it. Um, righty. Oh, hey, voodoo. Welcome in. Alrighty. Then. Hey, meeps. Uh, Meeps, if you want to jump in, link is in chat, it is kotc.app and the code is on the screen. You can join this game and we're going to uh, betray each other, probably some murdering and politics and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Perfectly outstanding member. Perfectly outstanding member. I wonder if I can put my headphones back on, I doubt it, but we'll try. Ah, oh, Techno Queen. Okay, there we go. Got both. Need to sort. Uh. <laughs> That's many. It's fine. You're at work, working and lurking. No worries, my friend. All right, we're gonna crack on. Thank you, noble barons, counts, and patricians. Let us begin the game. Oh, I don't look very happy. Oh my goodness, okay. To win, acquire an heir and complete your ambition before the regions complete their schemes. <laughs> You're working against me? Okay. Keep an eye on the region schemes. If they pass all their steps, they'll win the game. Or <laughs> Be careful of the defiance stat. If it gets too high, they may rebel. To win, pass all three stages of your scheme. Each stage requires you to get stats. How you vote is up to you for your regent scheme, to stop other schemes, or for the good of the kingdom. If your defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. Right. Game on. Hope all that makes sense. So basically, the top three are for me. Bottom three are for you. A bit concerned that this scheme at the bottom here is called Ragnarok. All right. <laughs> it is spring. Your reign is split up into seasons. In this demo, you'll get to play the first five seasons. Okay. Now, just a, a pre-warning. We may pause or abandon this game if it goes on too long. 9.45 is our cutoff, so that we can get ready for the Nintendo Direct, because I am not missing it. But we can come back to this afterwards, should we so feel. Um, to be honest, if we're clear, if we're close to a winner, then I will declare that person. Or group of people the winners. Probably me. Just saying. I'm the queen, so. Alrighty. This is your monarch, the main player's character. They'll appear in most stories, but not all. <laughs> Kingdom stats, if any of them are at zero at the end of the turn, the monarch will lose the game. I feel like I'm going to lose pretty quickly, mm -hmm. I won't. <laughs> These are the region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. If defiance is higher than both authority and stability, a region can trigger a rebellion. But it's risky. You can scroll through the list of nobles and their wealth. Okay. For Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. 
Why the hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless, and when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Ah, uh, we wouldn't want that, I suppose. As in tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Mm, no, it's my coronation. This isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote, even this. Shall we call the nobles in? Okay. Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Not all choices that change stats have these indicators and they do not show the region affected. These are the upcoming choices your nobles, nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. I feel like currently there is a lot of information that we're going to have to pick up, but once we get into it, like, it will all make sense. So don't panic if you're like me and you're like, all of information. The rebellion begins that way. We haven't even started yet, Toolbox. Now, Pack now. it in. <laughs> Monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. You may use one law per vote. Try using your veto on one option you dislike. When the vote opens, nobles vote on which choice they want in the browser. The monarch may close the vote at any time after all nobles have voted. Or the timer hits zero. Okay, what kind of coronation should be held for the new queen? A lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine, invite foreign dignitaries to show off our wealth, throw the Crete into the river, the nobles must put on a vast banquet for the queen. Right, so, I think I just have to start the boat, it's not letting me click in. Oh, hold on. Right, we are not going to throw me in the river, that's not even going to be an option. Um, I'm gonna, do you know what, let's make, yeah, this one, I guess you guys can choose, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be very de democratic on this, you can make your choices, but you are not throwing me in the river, I think that's fair, no one wants to be embarrassed on their special day, okay? All right, you got 15, 14 seconds remaining. Okay. Did everyone get their votes in? I believe so. It's hoping for an anonymous. Oh no, I know exactly what you're up to, Toolbox. <laughs> Voting has closed. Nice. Okay, stat change. This shows how which stat has been changed and how much by. Dignitaries arrive from all corners of the Celeste Ath and it's only appropriate you show off. A trained eagle drops a ruby encrusted crown atop your head as you stand on a golden podium. Treasury is... Now, oh, we lost quite a lot of money for that. Oh, did you guys really make the right choice there? Yes, yes. The awed crowd includes such influential figures as the Dukes of Sal, the Princess of Tavalin, and even a pearl bearer from Atash. Lucrative trade deals are struck at the evening's fest. So, some patricians' wealth have increased. Trade is now opulent in the coast. Uh, the march has got the prosperous trading and some wealth. And the same in the east. So pretty you guys did pretty alright at that. Well done. Don't get too rich though. Only the Grand Pensionieri of Kerth is not in attendance. The Republic, after all, is fundamentally opposed to the very concept of the monarchy.
You did not pick it. Did it pick for you? Alrighty. Let's go for the council introduction. Now that you're queen, your first duty is to meet the council of nobles. Did we not? Did we not just do that? That's fine. Oh, I get to choose. Oh, now. Who do I want to meet first? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my people. Patricians of the coast. A pleasure, your esteemed highness. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. I don't know where these voices are coming from. <laughs> An honour to make your acquaintance, your grace. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Is that my voice? <laughs> it does look a bit like you, you know. Lax beard. Lax that's true. Hail. And well met, your majesty. Under your leadership, we'll whip this kingdom into shape. Mm hmm. And with that, the introductions are done, as are the accents. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Tomo. Hello. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices. The nobles argue with each other and demand your favour. You sigh and sit back. Is this what councillors like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Right. The monarchy must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. A spouse is useful, but not necessary. Not In this fun. demo, you will not be able to complete your ambition and win the game. I <laughs> can't win. Buy the full game to win. Is that pay to win? It's, it's not pay to win. Ish. I mean, uh, it's fine. Uh, your Majesty, the first few years of reign are the most difficult. Your new and unproven nobles council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. These fools couldn't scheme their way out of a paper bag. Me. Sorry, chat. <laughs> yeah, now season two to five. Uh, better queens than you have been toppled by their treacherous nobles, your majesty. To defeat their ski. Did they just call me a shit queen? Already. Hold up. <laughs> Rude. Really cool, isn't it? To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Hmm. I would like to be the architect of the new golden age. A lofty goal indeed. As suggested over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I'll return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Right, so we're never seeing them again then. <laughs> okay, bye mate. You've played all the events. Click end the season. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claimant on the throne winning the game. Is this going to tell you you can't now win the game? Oh, no, you guys are allowed to win the game. I see. Set up to lose. Uh, when have the barons of the march back down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful monarch, on the throne. Mm. What scheme should the barons pursue to overthrow the new queen and place their preferred claimant, <laughs> Mika, on the throne? <laughs> <laughs> Going for that intimidation, I see. I love it. Alright, the barons plan to hold the queen hostage in her own palace. First, they must distract the spy master. To advance their scheme, the barons must raise other regions' defiance to a combined total of at least eight. 
or ensure another region begins rebellion in three seasons. Ooh. Eulalia, fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of the Queen Hue of Fun. <gasps> Something must be done. Rude. Ooh, subterfuge, monopoly, or conspiracy. Vote now. Okay, Tomo has voted for conspiracy. Uh, where does it show me who... On a noble list. Yeah, okay, so there's two people to vote on the next vote. I just want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to vote. What scheme should the blah blah blah? The patricians plan to sink the queen under an ocean of debt. <laughs> Lovely. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1500. Oh no, isn't it? It's less oh, no. than that already. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> We've played right into their hands. Are they going to get an insta win? No, surely not. Vitalia. My fellow counts, in ancient times the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not until the false queen, you of fun. Oh, not while. The false <laughs> queen, you of fun, wears the crown. This crown, right here. I'm wearing it. Alright, here's your vote. Blood ritual, ascension, or percent. How have you ended up in the, in the cult? <laughs> like a vampire cult toolbox is voted for blood ritual not being funny but <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> there's lots of uh, evil laughter going on in chat and voodoo has joined you in the blood ritual yeah. <laughs> all right the count plans to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions <laughs> Paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand the famine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just like Kingdom One, we should cause a rebellion. Kingdom Two, debt. We'll work through debt. Kingdom Three, summon a demon. <laughs> that might also wipe yourself out. Yeah, it's fine. It's <laughs> this fine. is the chaos option for sure. To advance the scheme, the counts must be the region with the highest farming in four seasons so the counts unfortunately cannot win in the demo damn it but they can be carried through to the uh we can cause issues though <laughs> you can cause issues for sure here you can view the region schemes and their claimants when i have an heir they'll appear on the right of the stage if your heir reign ends abruptly the nobles will vote for the next monarch this vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your heir if you have one. Warning, I currently have no heir. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Lots, lots to do. The honour guard. Now that you're a queen, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? I'd like to see you try. Is it your imagination or does your martial stifle a wry chuckle? In any case, she quickly hides it. You need an honour guard to keep you safe, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The counts with Knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose, the Patricians with Champion Gladiators, and the Barons offer a squad of battle-hardened veteran soldiers. But they all want me dead, do they not? Why would I take protection from... Hmm. Think carefully, Majesty, these guards' loyalties will be divided between you and the region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries, they'd be loyal to coin above all. We don't want to make ourselves broke, though. All right. Um... Who was it? Uh... I'm going 
gonna go for the coastal gladiators. I've made my decision. Yeah. Coastal gladiators. They feel like the less murdery of the regions. The gladiators arrive a few weeks later. They are bare chested and the women underdressed, eager to show off their body. Sorry, the men are bare chested and the women underdressed. Eager to show off their bodies as much as their weaponry, they gather behind your throne and begin oiling themselves. I feel like these uh, might be a vanity project. <laughs> we can't have the kingdom, nobody can! Right, where are we going to next? A new trend. Lord Patrician Tomo is here to see you, Your Majesty. He wants to sell you a, a crab. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. It's the latest trend along the coast. The Patricians have started keeping a species of jeweled crab as a fashionable pet. Right. They're so rare that one can sell for as much as a mansion. Alright, send him in. One of your options there was don't waste my time like this again. Yeah. <laughs> like... I'll, I'll entertain you. Thank you for seeing me, Majesty. I know the price is steep, but I assure you these, cra these crabs will only go up in value. <laughs> right. The sale of jeweled crabs are now illegal. Of course, okay. such a drastic measure will require a boat. You summon the council at once. You can only vote one thing. Really? <laughs> you busted out a veto on that. Yeah, I did. This is important to me. Please vote. <laughs> and I think you have to vote. I don't think it's going to let us continue unless... Well, when when the time runs out, it will stop. But, uh... <laughs> Tom is like, no, I'm not voting for that. Tom, eh? It is important to always use your vote. What if we have some? Um, <laughs> Dunno. Hey, Feisty. How you doing today? Hello, hello. Welcome to uh, me being queen and um, being a bit of a tyrant. I'm probably going to get murderized. It's basically like werewolves, but set in a lot environment it's, so it's, it's empire it's online so it's, yeah it's empire online um toolbox is being a vampire as is voodoo tomo is being a trader um viridian is trying to be intimidating and, and scare me away and yeah i'm making everything illegal sale of crabs is illegal. The pinchy little creatures are more valuable than ever. Oh. That backfired. That backfired. <laughs> Gangs of crab smugglers spring up along the coast murdering each other over profitable reefs. Thousands of fishermen start hunting crabs instead of the fish that sustain the coastal diet. Oh no, that that kind of works for me. All right. I don't really think it's the Queen's job to destroy all of the lands, though. I feel like that's going to go badly. <laughs> Alright, the march have nothing for me yet. So, to the east. Without a word, Count Voodoo hands you a blood-red envelope. It's sealed with white wax in the shape of a skull. Jesus. Fancy. Besides a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil due to take place on an autumn night later this year. Um, what's it all about? I can say no more, you must choose whether accept or decline. I d No. So 
If you're not explaining, I must decline. I know, this is the thing. But like, that's definitely like, they want me to be in a blood ritual, so I, I don't feel like I can attend that one. Have I got anything else to choose? March? March has even got anything for me? No? I guess I just have to end the season. Ooh, okay, buildings. Nobles can use their wealth. What time is it? Oh, we're good. You can use their wealth to bid for buildings, which will change stats. Uh, this is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can fund through the browser in increments of 100. When you're ready, hit start vote to begin the auction. Ooh. Okay, so you've got to use your personal wealth to bid on buildings and the two highest funded buildings will be built. So don't bankrupt yourselves, but also if yours is not one of the top two buildings, uh, then it's not gonna be built. Maybe in chat, have a quick chat, but amongst yourselves. Um, and then we're, we will start start the vote. You got a minute. Aim <laughs> Queen. This is fun. Violence. Hey, Coffee in the Rain, how you doing? anyone that wants to join there is the information I believe you can join at any time um, you will be randomly assigned your house and then you basically have to try and get me off the throne very simple okay the time is up the buildings that were funded, congratulations to the patricians getting Deer Park and the Aqueduct. But one raises farming and the other one puts it back down. <laughs> so they claim... Oh, Toolbox. <laughs> Toolbox uh, scuppered your... your uh, by adding the Deer Park, that reduces your farming, Tomo. Sneaky moves there from Toolbox. Hello there, Raven Guard. Yeah, and you're about to get a new person, so... Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go for finding a spouse. In the twisty passages of the castle, you avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spymaster, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year! I've been busy! You better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference? Men, women, or do you not mind? Uh, any. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Cool. Thanks, Mum. Roving hunters. Uh, oh, hold on. The coast has got an invitation again. Let's do that first. You absolutely must come down to the coast next year and experience the summer games. Oh, that sounds fun. If you aren't in attendance, it would simply be a crime. Everyone gets drunk, goes to the arena, talks to the gladiators, bust it out for the title of Golden Champion. Robes of blood, lakes of wine. Leave your inhibitions in the capital. That sounds fun. It's simply wonderful. It's been so long since the Queen attended the games. Last time, as I recall, they were assassinated. Yay! Not to worry, I'm sure it won't happen to you. Lovely. Roving hunters. 
two barons are on the way home from an epic hunt and seek shelter for the night. In exchange, you're, they're willing to gift you a rare trophy and provide meat for an extravagant feast if you so wish. Um... Tell me more about them. Their names are Feisty Sandals and Verit Hauda. 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 <laughs> to... Nah. Nah, laters. Nice try. The Barons are forced to move on seeking shelter elsewhere while you enjoy the sound of rain from beside your nice warm fireplace. Put them through the tables. Love it. <laughs> okay, we're going to end the season. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The treasury is practically empty and the queen is struggling to fund their ambitions. We've perfectly placed to offer her a loan. <laughs> so helpful. Indeed, these loan agreements will be as friendly as a bear trap. Absolutely. Am I supposed to be able to see all of these side bits? Yes. I feel like it's very... What? But like... It's all, it's all. You, uh, you choose what you want to choose. Do, is this false information? Is it? No, for real. It's like, how am I gonna not loot? How, like, obviously in this like... Get, I guess. Because it, it, so far it's been kind of obvious what the correct option has been to choose, right? I heard about the Queen's recent money troubles and I thought we could both benefit. Just sign here and here. This agreement does seem fair. Very well, I'll sign. Uh, Treasurer. Treasurer, what are you doing, please? I am not pleased. I am not, I'm not pleased. Madam Treasurer. Pack it in. Good night, Lord Patrician, and may the ninth be with you. Uh, bless you. Bye. Easiest pie. It's not enough to bankroll the Queen, the rest of the Kingdom needs to be in debt to us as well. To advance their scheme, the Patricians must have the highest trade of all regions in four seasons. It's time to collect tax. Taxing a region will decrease their defiance and increase their defiance and decrease noble wealth. Alright. <laughs> You're not pleased either. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna comment tax because whilst the patricians don't have a lot right now. They, the ones that just put me in debt. So I think this will even itself out. Uh, the counts impose impose harsh taxes on their serfs, netting five hundred wealth. The other nobles gain two hundred. Counts. That's naughty. He's <laughs> <laughs> literally sitting his stroke in his moustache in the corner. <laughs> Misbehaving. All right. Oh, eligible. Oh, let's stop the crab smugglers. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ever since the sale of jeweled crabs was outlawed, the smugglers are taking over the coast. Local sheriffs are so deep in the smugglers' pockets they might as well be lint. <laughs> Tell me more. Rival smugglers are murdering each other around the beaches. It's carnage out there. All right. I am I'm going to vote for this one and I'm going to see what you guys come up with. There you go, you got 30 seconds. You can either send a strongly worded reprimand to the local sheriffs, banning crabs isn't working, legalize it. 
uh, hire a sea wizard to wipe the crabs from the land, or appoint a new group of trustworthy sheriffs focused solely on crab-related crime. I feel like everyone's going to go sea wizard, aren't they? Sea wizard. Tax them all, more unrest, more defa- Feisty. Feisty, behave yourself. Dear me. Alrighty. Oh, Feisty coming in at the last second there with their vote. Voting has now closed. You're going to hire a sea wizard. Alright. A decrepit figure drifts into the council chamber covered in kelp and dripping seawater at a remarkable rate. The coast is now aloof. Uh, the kingdom is now stable. And we lost quite a bit of money from that. Thank you for the gold. This little problem of yours will go away faster than a puddle in midsummer. After a week of seaside spells and implications, all the crabs on the mainland shrivel in their shells and expire, while the sea-dwelling crabs are driven into the deepest reaches of the, sea, the ocean. They leave. The illegal... The illegal... What has happened? <laughs> the illegal crab trade dries up almost instantly, making a few fashion-conscious patricians very upset. <laughs> I don't have crabs anymore! Yay! Um. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. I've not done anything with the marches yet, so let's give the marches a chance. A brand new harvester. Your Serene Highness, the scholars and great thinkers of the march have invented a new farming implement. Ooh! Some kind of horse-drawn machine uh, that automatically reaps and threshes grain. They call it a wheat eater. It's revolutionising agriculture. That's cool and all, but why is a patrician coming to speak to me about this? Sus. Mm. You want to use it? Uh, we'll not share our designs with the likes of you, Coastal Leech. Our people worked hard on that machine. We deserve to reap its rewards, not you. Okay, so the choices are force the barons to distribute the designs, compensate the barons for the invention and share it, leave the machines in the march only. Halt the production of the machines. They're an affront to honest farmers everywhere. Right. I'm going to veto the halting. I think the machines are good, but I'll let you guys choose... Who gets to use them, basically? Good luck. Yeah, I think you know. I think that's fair. Compensate the barons for the invention. Share. Alrighty. We're going to compensate the barons for the invention and share it with the other regions. Some barons' wealth has increased. The kingdom is less money again. Oh, I've got less money again. Why is everything so expensive? <laughs> Rewarded for their ingenuity, the barons are satisfied, as is everyone else who... I, th I thought you guys were paying, not me. Why have I ended up paying? Man... All right, all right. I need I need a, a wealthy a wealthy partner now. Uh, I found three potential matches for you. An eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance and a partner for life to have and to hold. Don't forget. I suppose so. If the alliance comes first, your mother leads you to the great hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. But now each is covered by a cloth. I don't even get to meet them. Yeah, all right, let's meet them. She whisks away the cloth of the first portrait. This is Roland, the eldest son of the Eastern in the Toolbox Dynasty. It's not going to be him, is it? Wow. Your eldest son. <laughs> no, it's not going to be your eldest son for many reasons. Just, I'm not even, no. That seems don't see what all the fuss is about. Sorry. From the coast we have Octavia, the wealthy heiress to Lady Patrician 
um, Jevril's estate. She spends most of her time in the solitude of her villa, so I know a little about her. Could be better. Finally, we have the March's offering Jacob, a scion of the prestigious spicy sandals bloodline, a typical baron, really loud, brush, self absorbed, mostly well meaning. He had a meaningful encounter with a wizard a few years ago, and now he spends his time brewing strange potions. Also, got into a fight with his local bishop, gave him a bloody nose. Ooh. So, I wonder if they're actually loyal to the region or not. Sounds fun. What do you think? Of course, picking a candidate, you'll anger the others, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. I have made my decision. Uh, we're gonna go for Jacob. March is now cordial. Oh, the east is insolent. All right, we need to we need to appease the east. Didn't I agree to go to their party as well? That sounds like a bad idea. They're upset with me and I'm going to their party. Eesh. Oh no, not their party. Other person's party. Alright, that's alright. Deep in the forest of the march, Baron Viridian Wings has gone boar hunting with a few of their close friends. Bad news friend, the spy master's watching us like a mother bear watching the cubs. Give me a crossbow and I'll shoot the damn bear, stick his head on the wall. Wow. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to pretend to be harmless until the time comes to strike. The Baron's aim is to raise the other region's defiance to a total of at least eight. Here you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You can only adopt one new law at a time and a maximum of three laws to use. Alright, um... So either Monarch's Iron Choice, the Monarch can mark their preferred voting option if chosen, they gain plus one authority. Uh, our nobles choose to vote is hidden from the Monarch's view, or after voting nobles can change their minds and vote for a different option. Do you know what? I am going to be fair and give you anonymous voting. I think, I think that's... Oh god. Giant crabs. Uh, I'm gonna do the royal wedding first and come back to the crab situation. <laughs> Let's at least get married first. Your wedding to Jacob is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant part. Oh, that sounds expensive. It does a bit, doesn't it? feels like you're the only one not taking part it says you're getting ready for the ceremony soon enough you're standing in saint bertrand's cathedral with jacob at your side do you take this man as your lawfully wedded husband yes i was i was thinking about causing some drama last minute then but uh i'll bet I pronounce you queen and husband. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. The hus your husband dances vigorously. He spills wine all over himself. Oh, <laughs> oh the march is now loyal. Nice. Oh, and that brought everyone else down. Cool. Okay, so that fixed the counts. Maybe the magician wasn't supposed to. <laughs> yeah, right? Sounds like Toolbox spilling the strings. <laughs> By the time you find. I'm amazed that keyboard still works sometimes. By the time you find yourself alone with Jacob, it's past midnight and you never felt more tired. Uh, you have had enough. You sound like my mother, I suppose you're right. Um. To bed. Swigs last drags, blah blah blah. 
Alright. It's 10-2. We're gonna finish this this round. I think this is the last one anyway, isn't it? Okay. Regardless, we will we'll finish this round. Um a blood red comet was spotted in the night sky over the coast of Steam Tynus. The labourers are claiming it is a terrible omen. Ooh! Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be random or based on stat. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm going to tell them there is nothing to worry about. Authority challenge failed. You deliver a speech reassuring the peasants um, that the comet isn't good or bad. Just a thing. Probably the ninth god riding a chariot or whatever. I can understand why that failed. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not good. It's not bad. It's just, you know, whatever. Alright? It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> Welcome to the rock. Come from away. Brilliant musical. Uh, unfortunately, the peasants don't believe a word of it. They just panic more. Cool. Uh, for a few weeks, the coast is gripped in panic. Riots break out. Soothsayers wander the land, foretelling doom. <laughs> Great, that went well. Okay, giant crabs. Inspired speak. Yeah, right. <laughs> the crabs, your majesty. The crabs. Uh, calm. Uh, we hired the sea wizard to get rid of the ocean of crabs. His spells must have woken something in the depths. Giant crabs are overrunning the coast. Farming is now sufficient. Trading now wealthy. Um, emergency boat. Okay, anonymous voting. Let's see what happens here. I'm letting pure chaos <laughs> go and fix it. Or let them run amok. Oh no. No one sending the army? No? People are going pure chaos. Pure chaos here. Ooh, it's a bit of a split. One more person to vote. Oh, 50-50. I don't know what happens in that case. Let's see. Tied. I'm <laughs> going to let them run amok along the coast. They chose to put me in debt. <laughs> so I, I choose to just... Oh, what? Crabs? I don't see no crabs. Uh, you order the soldiers to withdraw, protect only the cities, leaving the crabs to infest the fields and trade routes. Oh, unstable kingdom. You it. I did. I just destabilized it fully. <laughs> Wait, we got we got stuff to do. I got to get ready for the Nintendo Direct, <laughs> which we will be live reacting to in just ten minutes, folks. Uh, good caravans are attacked by. Oh, goods caravans, not just good caravans. Oh, right, you know. <laughs> Decent, they are. <laughs> are attacked by crabs on a daily basis. Jeez. Crops rot. For months, they're overrun. It's bad. Fix it. <laughs> I fixed it. End of season. Thanks for playing. Hey, that was perfectly timed. All right. This game comes out on the 2nd of March. If you have enjoyed what we've done so far, albeit a bit patchy and um, obviously not all the features of the lip. <laughs> I bit my tongue and sounded like I was reversing. Um, not all the features are fully there yet, so bear that in mind. But if you have liked it, please let me know in chat. Um, I'll tell you who didn't win, Tomo. Uh, is the coast <laughs> um, based on who was closest to achieving their goals? I would say that the March were the winners of this session. The coast were the only ones who completed one of their 
stages, in fairness. Yeah, but they got wiped out by crabs, so they don't count. But they didn't get wiped out. Yeah, 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 they don't count. The, crab, the, really crab, the, the crabs, crabs won. won. <laughs> <laughs> the sea wizard, he's the winner. Um, because I am the queen, and, and the game didn't decide, so I did. And it doesn't have to be fair, because I'm the queen. <laughs> And if you don't like it, you can come assassinate me next time we play this game. Oh, well, there's an invitation. <laughs> All right, long live Queen Hua Fun. Continue your demo save. There will be Twitch integration. Play with up to 4,000 nobles. That's bonkers. Can you imagine that? So if you all could bring, like, 3,095 of your friends, that would be... 3,995 of your friends, that'd be great. Um, oh, this will get chaotic. This is, yeah, a big, I want to get a big group together for this, it'll be great. Rebellions, we like it. Cool, okay. 